Where did you leave? Huh. Did that throw a dry there? So I was taking a water temperature reading. Water's 57.9 degrees today. And while doing that, Jeremy got a nice 16, 17 inch fish. So that's a good way to start the things off. That was a pretty big fish rising back there. I did well try some dries. So I've seen some fish rising in this bigger water, the shallower water. So I put a dry fly on and moved down below that riffle. See if I can encourage one to look up, take my fly. So far, most of them look pretty small. But a couple of the fish look decent. So let's see if I can lure one of those guys up. Oh, there's a good one. 30 feet above me. All right. So we got our nymphing on. Fish. I'm <laughs> Came off. All right. Well, not counting him. a snack, swap sides of the river so we can get to this pocket water. Feeling a little bit more optimistic. Making a video here. That was 
it's like a perfect uh, specimen. Pretty big. Yeah. Same spot as the last one. It isn't very big, but it's fighting really well. Boom. 30. Super pretty, stomach is full. Oh. Oh, that was a good fish. Okay. single fish I've hooked today has been on rubber legs. So I had on a gummy egg on the other point to see if I could attract a bite on that. Oh. I hooked one on an egg but it came off. Nice little riffle here. I cannot get a fish to eat anything but rubber legs. 
Jeremy put on like the bright orange and yellow one and they're eating that too, so. I don't know, I might take it off to see if they'll eat something, something else. They're definitely keyed into the rubber legs. Productive. Nothing on it though. Uh, 
Ah yes, the upper sack. I haven't fished it since late winter and it was great to get back on it. It was flowing well at 150 CFS and the water temps were just about perfect, a comfortable 57.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Before the sun got high and hit the water, there were fish rising in the slow pools, uh, but I couldn't move them. I offered them a size 18 gray parachute atoms and a size 16 elk hair caddis, both flies I saw laying eggs on the water, but nothing came up. When I switched back to nymphs, the rubber legs was the clear winner. I fished a classic coffee in brown size eight, and Jared tried a yellow and orange one in size 10, and they were both working well for us. Uh, near the end of the day, I was using an indicator, and I took the rubber legs off and got several fish on a blowtorch. Both uh, patterns that just always work around here. Jared's first fish of the day was the biggest fish of the day, a 16 incher. I had one on that was in that ballpark, but I tried to muscle it back to me because I didn't want to chase him downstream in the pocket water. But reflecting back on that, uh, if I had been more patient, I probably would have landed him. Oh well, there's always something to learn and apply to the next time. Okay, so question of the day. When you have a fly that the fish are clearly favoring, do you like to leave it on and just enjoy catching fish all day? Or do you like to take it off and see what else they might go for? Alrighty, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my fishing equipment or my video gear, I have links to everything down in the description. If you'd like to follow along with me in real time, look me up on Instagram. I post up pictures, video clips, fun stuff to my story so you don't have to wait for me to get these videos edited. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. If you want to catch every new release, please ring that bell so you'll be the first one to see it. I try to post a new video every week and I think we've had our last day over 100 degrees, fingers crossed, so cooler weather is definitely coming soon. If you want to see another fun day on the Upper Sack, be sure to check out this video. I didn't make today's mistake and I actually chased a fantastic fish downstream over a big boulder to get to him. You don't want to miss it. Wait, you haven't gone and watched it yet? What, you don't like the upper sack? Do you hate the upper sack? Come on, just go watch it. It's fun.